Human rights are a central part of the fundamental values of the European Union. So it's no surprise that EU decision makers regularly insist on the importance of defending human rights. The protection of human rights. And human rights. For menschenrechte. The respect for human rights. For human rights in the European Parliament. Human rights. The champion of human rights. Die Einhaltung der Menschenrechte ist deshalb eine unerlässliche Voraussetzung. However, as soon as human rights violations within the EU come to the surface, or economic and geostrategic interests are at stake, European leaders become silent. In the European Parliament, things sadly aren't much different. For the Greens, in contrast, human rights have always ranked high on the priority list. Die Verwirklichung und Verteidigung der Menschenrechte in der Europäischen Union und auf der Welt, das ist einer der Aufträge, den wir als Grüne Fraktion im Europäischen Parlament von unseren Wählern haben. Wir nehmen das sehr ernst, Tag aus, Tag ein, Jahr für Jahr durch die ganze Legislatur. Il est évident pour nous que nous allons nous pas arrêter parce que des gouvernements, pour des raisons d'efficacité économique ou des lobbies quelconques, nous demandent de ne pas continuer cette bataille. Notre ligne de direction, notre objectif, notre raison d'être, c'est la lutte pour les droits de l'homme, c'est la défense des droits de l'homme. Since 2001, the Greens have held the presidency of the Human Rights Subcommittee in the European Parliament. In 2011, former Secretary General of Amnesty International Germany, Barbara Lochbieler, took over this position from her colleague, Hélène Flautre. As a result, the Greens continue to push for a more consistent European policy on human rights. In Burma, for instance, Barbara Lochbieler and the Nobel Peace Prize laureate Aung San Suu Kyi joined forces in their fight for the release of political prisoners. While most discussions in Beijing focused on economics and trade, Barbara Lochbieler confronted the Chinese government with more controversial issues such as the death penalty, freedom of expression and torture. And when the U.S. state of Missouri announced that it was planning to use propofol for their capital punishments, Lochbieler helped make sure that not a single drop of the drug was to be exported from the EU to U.S. detention facilities. In the Europa politik wird oft über Menschenrechte geredet, sehr oft am Sonntag, aber die Sätze sind meistens Nebensätze. Wir als Grüne, wir fordern eine energische und konsequente Umsetzung der Menschenrechte. Wir fordern das in den Außenbeziehungen, aber auch bei uns in der Region. Dabei sind wir durchaus selbstkritisch, denn unsere Politik wird glaubwürdiger, wenn wir auch Menschenrechtsprobleme innerhalb der EU anschauen. Andere Fraktionen scheuen oft davor zurück, wir tun dies nicht. For the Greens, self-criticism and the avoidance of double standards are key political principles. When it became public that EU governments had assisted the CIA in running secret prisons on European soil, the Greens took the lead and pushed for thorough investigations. The Greens also succeeded in expanding the mandate of the European Border Control Agency, Frontex, to ensure it also includes human rights principles. For years, Frontex had acted in a total accountability vacuum. Asylum seekers were illegally deported and refugees in distress at sea were left behind without major consequences for those responsible. The new mandate is a small but important first step towards addressing these problems. Il y a un point tout à fait fondamental pour les Verts qui est la cohérence de la politique de droits de l'homme de l'Union européenne. Euh, sur les exemples de la CIA avec la pratique de torture sur le sol européen ou la répression des flux migratoires, il est très clair que nous ne pouvons pas convaincre les pays, par exemple du sud de la Méditerranée, de soutenir un programme de réforme et euh, d'état de droit si euh, nous ne faisons pas la démonstration que sur ces politiques, nous sommes capables de les transformer et c'est ce que nous faisons euh, en tant que groupe des Verts. European trade policy, too, continues to be designed and implemented almost independently of human rights concerns. 
Clearly, nobody would ever describe the human rights situation in Iran, Bahrain or Saudi Arabia as acceptable. However, when the Greens try to prohibit European exports of surveillance technology or weapons to autocratic countries, or when they ask for legally binding human rights clauses in trade agreements, they found little support from others. Os direitos humanos não podem apenas ser algo que fazemos ao fim do dia por descargo de consciência. Eles têm que estar no centro de todas as nossas políticas, eles têm que ser os alicerces da União. Só assim conseguiremos impedir que os nossos interesses e os nossos valores entrem em conflito, desprotegendo as pessoas fora da União Europeia que continuam a sofrer violações de direitos humanos, mas desprotegendo também os nossos próprios trabalhadores, consumidores, cidadãos que desejam o melhoramento das condições de vida fora e dentro da União Europeia. Obviously, human rights issues will continue to rise in the future, both in third countries and within the EU. Accordingly, the European Union is in need of strong and persuasive human rights advocates more than ever. The good news is that the Greens are there to help. So, EU leaders and politicians, what do you say? Herzlichen Dank. Thank you for the future of the world. I thank you for your attention.